Hello everybody, today is Thursday evening. Um, I received five orders today, three on Bricklink and two on Brick Owl. Finally, uh, so that means that my uh, pricing strategy and upload strategy is working. So uh, yeah, we're gonna pick some orders. I have my little helpers here. Um, already working on these and uh yeah let's start uh, picking some orders i need uh, abraham lincoln So I don't know if you noticed uh, guys, but uh, I have a 5% discount uh, on people that order in my store and um, that actually uh, leave a, a comment after they ordered. So uh, if you place an order in my store, uh, do make sure to leave a comment, a review, an order review and i will give you then a coupon uh, with a five percent discount for your next order take that into account and my price setting is already uh, pretty low now well not 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 that low but uh, better than uh, than average Here he is, Abraham Lincoln. And I will put that right away into a bag. Uh, no, no bag, but um, over here. I already had one. Because it's a minifigure, I like to protect it better than in a normal bag although these already weigh 40 grams um, so that made me order a bunch of envelopes uh, which is only a few grams um, yeah to rectify on, on the shipping so this order is now ready and I uh, gonna mark it here with the Bricklink order number. Here we go. That's one. Gonna put these back. Oh. So now I need 924, that's over here. 924, that's this one. I need 88. Twenty minutes later. Put it into a bag. My bag is too small. Take another one. Yeah. 
these I will do in an envelope, but the envelopes are at my desk downstairs. 139. Oh, that's over here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Hmm. So uh, I wanted to use uh, Brick Freedom to uh, pick this order, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But uh, yeah, the program has changed uh, a bit. Uh, so I do not uh, see the uh, actual images of the parts that I need to pick anymore on Brick Freedom. So that's probably down to a setting that I need to change. Um, I need to look into that because it's been a while that I used Brick Freedom. Um, so uh, that was the reason why I had to print uh, all my orders. Uh, on paper uh, but okay these things do happen uh, 695 it's over here uh, two of those Okay. Three eight one. Yeah. And then it's so good as you need to roll so good. So uh I did a, a massive hole as well, so uh, gonna probably post another video about that as well later on. Um, but there are currently some huge discounts in Belgium. Well, huge, not that huge, but on particular sets, uh, it can be very interesting. Uh, so as you can see, I have uh, different lots. Or actually some different colors of uh, in into one particular uh, bin of the tray um, yeah it's it saves a bit of uh, of drawers g3 one by three One, two. And I have Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. That's a difficult bestelling, did he? Huh? This looks so great. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> say hi. Uh, why say that? Say hi. Bullock Eldry. Bullock Eldry. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Say the goud vies. Then I'm going to say hi. Now I forgot which one I need to take, so I think it was green. Oh my god! Yes, green is. Only one. And then this one. And then bright light yellow. 
one by two. As this one. And it's whoa, eight. I'd like to give some comment on some uh, chats I've been following on Facebook, uh, on Bricklink. There are people, unfortunately, that can't handle quote-unquote bad customers or unhappy customers. And basically, that's, that's a part of uh, customer services that you have to treat uh, every customer uh and uh, as best as you good so um yeah if if a customer is unhappy with the order then then just try your very best to uh, solve the issue and in um worst case scenario uh you you simply have to refund you simply have to refund the order uh and, and in most cases, the, the order amount is oh, tops 30 euro or something. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's part of doing business. Uh, if you're not willing to um, take care of uh, customer issues, uh, even though uh, you think uh, you are right, let me tell you, customer is always right. And even if you are on Bricklink and doing this as a, a hobby, man, uh, do we just... Echt. Uh -huh. Teen. 12. So even if you are on Bricklink doing this as a hobby, you have to, in my honest opinion, you have to treat this uh, very professional because as a buyer, you always, you always want to have the good service. Imagine that you are a buyer purchasing something. It's, you always want that your purchase is correct. So, and, and personally, uh, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, I make mistakes as well. Uh, especially with used parts, sometimes you can uh, put away a, a, a part as a different color than it should be, uh, which I had just recently. And then uh, you receive a customer order and then at time of picking, obviously you see the difference of, of color of the part you have in hand and the, the part that is on there. And then it's only decent that you, um, that you inform the customer about the, the error. Uh, up front uh, and let him decide, let the customer decide what he wants. Does he want a replacement part? Does he want a refund for the part? Or does he maybe want to cancel the order? Because sometimes a customer is uh, uh, ordering uh, at your shop just for that particular part and adds other stuff as extra. So yeah, if, if he cannot deliver that specific part, then he probably wants to uh, cancel the order. So let him. I never file a uh, uh, a customer of mine as a non-paying buyer or, or how you uh, call that in Bricklink. Uh, I have never done that. Uh, and that is because in, in Belgium it is, or in Europe, basically uh, a client has 14 days to decide uh, if he wants to continue with the order, yay or nay. And uh, granted, he should then notify the shop uh, of his cancellation. But in any case, in Bricklink, I mean, we are not talking about hundreds of, of, of euros. We are mostly talking about tens of euros and, and it's not worth the hassle. Uh, just ignore it, uh, cancel the order and move on. Life goes on. There's, you don't have time to to uh, worry about this stuff too much and if you if you make it a good habit of yourself to to uh, give a good customer services and uh, I, I think your life is much easier because you can live with yourself as opposed to uh, I, I, I wrote this one story uh, I read sorry not wrote 
this one story of a, uh, a, a buyer purchasing at a vendor uh, having paid and uh, at the end he wanted to cancel the order uh, because for whatever reason and the seller just decided like hey you paid for the order you're gonna get the order and uh, uh, the the, uh, the buyer was abroad and so the vendor shipped the order uh, via tracking and uh, the buyer was uh, obviously smart enough he said I don't want the order so he cancelled at uh, PayPal or at Bricklink whatever and uh, he did not collect the order uh, when it was uh, required to so yeah the the vendor then asks everybody for help hey what should I do what should I do but in the end he should have cancelled the order in the in the in the in the beginning instead of uh, starting this mayhem i mean and 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 it's 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 the client's right uh in europe at least i don't know how it is in the states uh, but in europe it's the client's right and i i my personal feeling is that is correct that's a correct a correct way of of doing business so i personally had it as well not with lego but uh uh, purchasing stamps for instance uh, to send my lego to the customers and uh, the tracking number said uh, it, it was with the Belgian postal office online and the tracking number said it was delivered but I never ever received the parts so I called the postal office and I explained it to them and they just simply resent the parts that's how it goes that's how it should be that is good customer services in my uh, humble and modest opinion um, yeah if you if you have another feeling about this leave your comment below I'm interested to see your uh, your ideas about this So uh, this week my uh, son uh, already uh, parted out a friend set that's over here. So we will have to uh, upload upload that uh, later on. Damn, now I forgot how many items I needed. Uh, all right. Damn, I'm feeling old sometimes. <sighs> Just one. All right, here we go. Just one, 2,627 to go. If somebody wants light blue is gray, two by four bricks, I have them. Send me an order. Don't buy them all at once. <sighs> okay, where are we? Uh, Bullock G4. Here we are. Moet jij nog in die F3 zijn, Xander? Right, other location. Uh, 4.1.3. Where is 4? Here it is. Okay. 4.1.3. I need 1. This baby over here. It is a uh, 3 item. There is one of the Compleet. Ja. En je kunt die niet, niet pakken of je mist ze? Ik, ik, ik mis ze. Ja, yeah, so for the English people, uh, my mother tongue obviously is Dutch, so you hear me speaking Dutch quite a lot. Wil je mitske? Wil jij me even helpen met deze? Okay. Die is nog niet betaald, dus dat is niet zo dringend. Oh, 32 euro. Mm -hmm. Uh, het, het, uh, ga jij die pakken? 971. 327. 
Just one. Uh, Nega Nega. We gaan in D8 pakken. Okay. Light blue is grey, 1x6 tile. One through T. That is good, very English. Uh, six for five. Yoink. One of these. One or six. I think this is an order from a uh, wanted list because uh, this person just wants one or two of each item. Uh, okay, uh, one or six is over here. C5. Uh, that's one of the first I sell these. This is gonna be a long video. Very long. Uh, three five zero over here. Four of these. One, two, three, four. Half an hour. I wanted to put this in the vlog, but I think I'm gonna make a separate video from it. Almost complete. Uh, G6, J6, reddish brown. Oh, this body cam is tight on my chest. Reddish brown, and I need. How many? Four. Kun er niet aan. Want toe. Drie voor. My son, I love him. If I didn't have my son, really, I wouldn't be. That's not good English, no. I would not be where I am today, or we would not be where we are today. My son helps me a lot in picking orders. Uh, one by six, five each. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I didn't begin my one thinking. Said, if only I could talk a bit more better English, then it would chat to you guys as well. What? Sit in a B3, you must get a rookie zone. Yes, oh, nee, 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 nee. Uh, jij zei dat die een... Uh, drie. Kun je eraan? Ja. ja negen, negen, acht. Moet ik hem pakken? Ja. Oh, shit. Negen, negen, acht. Nine, nine, eight. Hm. 
4. 1 through T4. Ik heb hier punt 2.4 maar. Dat is hier. Ja, dus die. Ik zie dat kon ik eraan en koop. Hoeveel? 2. Ticket. Ga je het deze? Ja, ja oké. Okay. Uh, doe de geiten 1008. Ja. Dan doet hij een D4. Uh, yellow. We all live in the yellow submarine. Just one. And that's the one. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. We all live in the yellow submarine. G2 Almost there We zijn er bijna 1, 2, 3 All right, add them? Yeah. Yes, one complete that's order. Uh, that's it. No, that's not the last. Ja. Ah, gaat die ook nog doen? Zal ik ik deze al even uitzoeken? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check on those missing items that we have. And then, uh, yeah, that will be it for this picking video. Um, oh yeah, I will add some nice uh, uh, thank you cards uh, with it as well, which I've received uh, beginning this week. I will show you in a, in a second. And uh, yeah. So I have one item that I'm missing. 11 pieces of. I have no idea how that's possible. Too bad, so I have to inform the customer that he won't get 15 of these, he will only get four. And then in the end, uh, every um, order will receive this thank you card, um, which mentions the 5% discount if you leave a um, if you leave a review on the uh, Bricklink or Brickal site. Yeah, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, that helps me tremendously to uh, grow uh, my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll see you next time with the vlog. Bye bye.